Grounded Day at Powell. Happy Friday, seniors. I say good morning to the day. Good morning to my school. Good morning to my pals, cause you're really, really cool. Oh yeah. Good morning to Miss Andrea and all our families too. Good morning, good morning to you. All right, we're still talking about buh, buh, bears. Today we're gonna read a story called Where Does the Brown Bear Go? And then we're gonna have some fun with numbers and moving to numbers. So come on in to our pal's day. Here we go. Where does the brown bear go? I love the pictures in this story. Do you see this beautiful starry night? We've got the moon and we've got a beautiful tree over here. Where does the brown bear go? Here are some of the different animals that we're going to see in our story. When the lights go down on the city street, where does the white cat go, honey? Where does the white cat go? When evening settles on the jungle beat, I'm sorry, on the jungle heat, where does the monkey go, honey? Where does the monkey go? They are on their way. They are on their way home. When shadows fall across the dune, where does the camel go, honey? Where does the camel go? When the junkyard is lit by the light of the moon, where does the stray dog go, honey? Where does the stray dog go? They are on their way. They are on their way home. When the sun sinks far behind the seas, where does the seagull go, honey? Where does the seagull go? When night in the forest disguises the trees, where does the brown bear go, honey? Where does the brown bear go? They are on their way. They are on their way home. The stars are bright and a warm wind blows through the window tonight, honey through the window tonight. And everyone is home. It's the end of the day. So brown bears, we love all different kinds of bears. They're so interesting to learn about. But something that you might not know is when it gets really, really cold and snowy outside, bears like to sleep sleep. They get into their little cozy dens, it's their little houses, and they sleep for most of the winter. Do you know why they do that? Because it's hard to find food when it's cold and snowy outside. And it's kind of hard to play the way they're used to playing when there's a lot of cold snow all over the ground. So they rest their bodies. And by resting, they save their energy, right? So they don't need to eat as much food. And that's what keeps them healthy. So there's a word for that. It's called hibernate. Can you say hibernate? Hibernate, like hi. Hibernate. Bears like to hibernate in the winter. That means they like to spend time sleeping when it's really, really cold and or snowy outside because it saves their energy, okay? So you're gonna actually be doing a project today 
where you're gonna make a house for your sleeping bears. Okay, let me put this down for just a minute. It's actually going to be similar to the polar bear activity where you've got your sky. You can do it this way, but I think I'm gonna do mine this way today. And you've got your sleeping bears. You can make them black, you can make them brown, you can even make them white. Okay, if you have a white crayon and you wanna color over them with white, all bears like to take some time to rest during the winter. So you decide what kind of bears you're going to have resting, all right? And then you're gonna glue them on your blue sheet. And then we're gonna give them a cozy little den to sleep in, okay? A den is just a hiding place for them where they feel safe. So this little den is made out of a mound of snow, okay, maybe some rocks, just an area where they feel safe. So I'm gonna put them in their little den. I'm gonna glue that over the top of them to keep them safe. And then we have snowflakes and snow that you can put all over the ground that's around them. And then it looks like they're resting for the winter, okay? So you're gonna create a picture of bears hibernating or sleeping, okay? Now, most bears don't sleep all winter long. They do like to come out every now and then to play and to find whatever food that they can. Polar bears really have the easiest time in the winter because um, they're just, they're, they love the snow and they're used to finding fish in the ice I guess they do ice fishing, right? They're really good at finding everything that they need, but all bears like to rest in the winter. So you'll, you'll see that they like to save their energy until the snow melts and the sun starts shining a little bit more and things start to grow. And then it's just easier for them to find the food that they need to give them energy. We all need food for energy. Okay, so that's gonna be part of your homework tonight. But before, I tell you about the rest of your homework. If you look inside your bag, you will find some brown, a brown bear. Everybody has a little brown bear with a number on it, okay? And you each have a different number. I'm gonna hold up some numbers. If my number matches your number, can you stand up? Okay, does anybody have a one? You can count with me. Two, remember, stand up when you hear your number. Three, four, five, six. Oh, I bet some of you have a five or a six. How about a seven? Eight. Oh, some of you are standing. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Keep going. I know we have some more pals that haven't stood up yet. Thirteen. 14, 15, okay, keep standing if you've got your number, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, you should all be standing. We have a lot of numbers that we passed out, a whole variety. So each of you should be standing by now. We're going to do the number rock. We love that song. All right, so you've got your number and you stood up because you heard your number, right? Now I need you to sit down 
and you're not going to stand up again until the song says your number, okay? So when the song says your number, then you're going to stand up. And when the song says your number again, you get to sit down. So you're going to first you're going to stand up, then you're going to sit down. Okay? This is called the number rock, okay? So here we go. Listen for your number and hold on to that number bear. Here we go. And it's got a great rock and roll sound. Oh yeah. Hey, I want to see you standing for your number. One, two. One, two. Three, four. Three, four. Five, six, six seven. seven. Five, six, seven. Eight, eight nine, nine, ten. Eight, nine, ten. Eleven, ten. twelve. that song you can play it again later and practice with your number okay so did anybody have this number did anybody have this number 15 did you know that's the number for today can you say 15 oh come on you can say it louder than that 15 all right I'm gonna go ahead and put that on our calendar come on Here we go. Today is January 15th, 2021. Okay, so we talked a little bit about um, the polar bear hibernation or the bear hibernation that you're going to do for homework tonight. But I want to show you one more thing. Okay, you have a little bag of paper. And only the seniors have this paper in your bag. Only the seniors, okay? This is called kindergarten paper, and you can use it with a thick marker, or you can use it with a thick pencil. It's best if you have a, a fat pencil or a fat marker. Okay, I'm gonna use my marker. Now, what I want you to use this paper for, and you have a lot of pieces, I just need one piece. You have a lot of pieces. I'm gonna save the rest of the paper for later. I want you to practice writing your name on this paper, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna put my paper right here, okay? I'm gonna take the cap off my marker. Put it on like this. I'm gonna write Miss Andrea on this paper but you can practice writing your name on your paper. Now, there are dark lines. You'll see it, the dark blue lines, and you're gonna go from the top, you always start at the top, down to the next blue line, like that. Do you see how I made that line? Okay, I feel like I'm gonna move the camera closer so you can really see this well. Come on up with me. Move you nice and close so you can see how I'm writing my name. Okay, and then I'm gonna go down, up, down. That's an M. Okay, now 
The first letter of your name is always big, but the next letters are small. So the next letter is going to start on the dotted line. This, this line has dots. There. That says Miss. Okay, now I'm going to write Andrea. Okay, so I start with a big letter, big letter A for the beginning of my name. And all of the rest of the letters are going to be little. So I'm going to start at the dotted line. N. D. R. E. Okay, Miss Andrea. Okay, you can practice writing your name just like that. If you don't know how to write your name yet, have mommy write it with a pencil. So I'm just going to make an O for an example. Mommy can make it with a pencil and then you can write over it with your marker. Okay, that's a good way to, tr it's called tracing, and then you'll learn how to write your name that way. Okay, so practice writing your name because you are my seniors. Make your little hibernation bears, like I showed you, okay? And then when you're all done doing your hard work, let me just check my lesson plan here. Then you're gonna do some fun work have you ever made a tent using a blanket and some chairs? Raise your hand if you've ever made a tent, like right in your house. It's so much fun. I wanna know if you can get a big blanket out of, your, out of your cupboard, ask mommy which one you should use, and cover a bunch of chairs with your blanket and make it into your bare den and then you can crawl inside and pretend like you're hibernating. I thought that would be so much fun. You could take a flashlight in there with you. You could read books in there. You could even practice writing your name in there if you want to, but get cozy in your little bear's den and see what it would feel like to hide and hibernate through the winter. Okay. Only the seniors get to do this. This is your special day. Okay, now we forgot about the weather. I'm just gonna take a peek outside. Take a peek outside just so you know what the weather is today. You can, you can tell me, you can say it out loud. It's always nice to just check, right? But I hope you enjoyed um, our second day of learning about bears. And I hope you have a lot of fun with your projects. Seniors, keep up the great work. You are learning your letters and your numbers and you're just getting smarter and smarter every day. And Miss Andrea is so proud of you and I love you so much. Right, until we meet again. One, two, three, pals, hooray. Have a wonderful weekend. See you next week.